Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Clone Podcast. I'm Mike. And I'm Ryan. And we're two best friends, one of us getting over COVID. Oh, my God. And one of us scared of getting COVID. <laughs> yeah. See if you can, throughout the course of this episode, see which one is which. But today, <laughs> we're going to be smelling, uh, hopefully... Myself. A, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Smelling yourself, myself, YSLs, myself. We'll be checking that out. In fact, I've got a Fragrantica review from Face, who says, Nothing really stood out on this one. Very generic and disappointing release. Four out of ten. Brutal. I believe it. Yeah. Do you I, believe it? Are you believing that there's going to be an issue with this one? I'm a believer. <laughs> so there's <laughs> probably going to be some issues with this one. Just being <laughs> that sweet, generic designer fragrance that, you know, we typically get when we reach out into those department stores to look for something to smell. Look, I don't think we're ruined by niche, okay? I don't think we're snobs. No, Because there's still some designer shit that are must for me. One will always be Aqua Di Gio, right? Gio. And, of course, I guess it's the Parfum now instead of Parfumo. But that right. is a must. I think that is a staple. Always will be in my collection. Other one would be original and the extreme version of Spice Bomb. Gorgeous. Yeah. Better than mo- those three just alone that I just mentioned. And I have to say, probably, I like Versace Dylan Blue, too. I used to rock the shit out of that. I yeah. feel like some of those are better than most niche things I've ever smelled. And I mean, technically, at this point, you've got ombre leather, yeah. which is I'll probably never go without a bottle of ombre leather. Yeah, that's not niche to me anymore. No, that's designer. Yeah, that's designer. So there are plenty. And look, we'll get into plenty more as this episode goes on. But first, we've got to go back in time to that spooky ride by Zyrena <laughs> called Dark Ride, giving you that Pirates of the Caribbean vibe. <laughs> the music, Todd. Yeah. One Night Stand Review. Well, Mike, after riding... It gave me COVID. (laughs) It did not give him COVID. I want to get sued. (laughs) Maybe the people on the ride with him. (laughs) That was it. I think it was waiting in line (laughs) with that mildewic, ozonic sort of... (laughs) Actually, the people from Zyrena hit us up on social media. They were so sweet. They were very... This is the kind of interactions I love. I will always love this. When people can take a ribbing, if you will. Yeah. And they enjoy it. They're having fun with it. They knew what they were making. Yeah. And he's like, hey, we need to get you guys one of our... Less challenging fragrances, fragrances, basically. I'm I'm down for that. Whatever you want to send us, we'll be happy to smell it and give our honest opinion about it. And so we appreciate you reaching out. Yeah, that's so awesome. Okay, so let's talk about... It's still Okay. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, That one is tough. You you can't buy me over on this one. (laughs) What The one I'm actually excited to smell, because I do get the appeal of the chlorinated water. Mm Mm-hmm. I actually have a face wash right now that I'm using that smells like basically chlorinated water, and I like the smell of it. You sure that's not COVID? It could be. (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to be real with you, dude. You're looking at me while you're talking, and it's really creeping me out. (laughs) Here, let me face the other (laughs) way. (laughs) Is this better? I would much rather make contact with the back of your head right now. (laughs) Oh, my God. Okay. Well, either way, they have a fragrance called Pool Boy. Yes, and Cynthia sent us that as well. Yeah, we have that one too. So we're probably not going to do it close to this one just because the similarities. But still, I'm excited to smell that one. So yeah, I am too. I think I think we need to hold off until summer for that. We we're supposed yes. to do it this last summer, but you know us, we fucking suck. We didn't. Actually, the reason why Cynthia sent these is because I wore a fragrance by them that I did like. That was called Cinemaniac, I think, and it smelled like film stock and kettle corn basically <laughs> and i wore i wore that on halloween a couple years ago and i was talking about how much i enjoyed it and a lot of people really liked it i hope zyrena hears this version of it too because <laughs> we really didn't get into this but the reason why i got it a sample of it was because oh gosh what's her name vanessa something they did attraction studies And the thing that was most attractive to people were things that smell like food. And she would rub a popcorn bag against her neck and she would get compliments on her fragrance all day. 
Who the what, what is it? Vanessa Hutchins or something? No, no, no. I've I forget her last name, but they do like attraction studies and stuff like that. She does mm-hmm. interaction and social studies and things like that. So I had remember hearing that and I was like, oh my God, there's an actual fragrance <laughs> like that. And it was by these guys and I wore it. And sure enough, it was a couple Halloweens ago and uh, a lot of people enjoyed it. And I was like, it makes sense because growing up, my grandmother would make popcorn balls to give out oh, to the kids. Oh, yeah. That's like what the marshmallow, it's like the Rice Krispie Treat version, right? Uh, yeah, but it, with popcorn. Kinda. Yeah. Oh, man. I love that. But shit. it was like not so much marshmallow. It's like popcorn and like a caramel type thing that holds yeah. it together but uh that's kind of what this fragrance smelled like which made perfect sense to wear on halloween there was a lot of things going on with that so they do make really interesting fragrances i'm curious to see what their like more wearable stuff is but i do like the concept fragrances too so whereas it's not one we'll wear or buy or anything like that it's still so fun to smell these sort of things. So, yeah, did we give them a great ribbing? Yes, we did. But that doesn't mean we think they suck. Can anybody tell that Mike hasn't talked to me in a while? Why am I like just <laughs> talking so much? No, nah, I appreciate your master thesis. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Somebody's got to bring a little intelligence to this podcast. Uh, I always feel like if I wear like uh gourmand or like specialty fragrances like that people just gonna think you're fat (laughs) yeah just it's the whole dave Chappelle's the uh calvin's got a job skit oh yeah (laughs) whack (laughs) arnold like you smell like french fries (laughs) yeah that was me working at subway oh my lord (laughs) smell like that fucking bread all the time all the time (laughs) and i would think it smelled atrocious and then people would be like "Ooh, you smell so good i'm like "Uh uh-uh (laughs) <laughs> smells like trash <laughs> just shower you know what i find funny about our relationship that i just kind of realized and i'm not going to dive too deep on this but okay that we both have been mascots at some point in our life oh okay what were you a mascot uh, so i'm not diving into that no. oh <laughs> Oh, you're like one of these furry guys that likes to dress up like uh, an now animal. Now I have like- to address it. God damn, no. <laughs> I knew it. He was the mascot at our school. At our high school, yeah. <laughs> and my, one of my first entry-level jobs, mm, like 17, mm-hmm. 17 years old, was working at Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then I was, uh, yeah. But I took pride in wearing that that rat that outfit. That must have been the perfect job for you because I can imagine with like you being introverted that being in a costume really helped. It was great because I could act a damn fool and like yeah. not be judged. That was me. <laughs> they used to get on to me because you're not supposed to take the helmet off or the hat, the head off. Yeah. You know, ruin the illusion for the children. Exactly. Like that. It's not a gigantic animal flying around. Or like shitty 1A <laughs> schools, like treating it like you're at Walt Disney World over here. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Yeah. <laughs> And believe me, in Texas, guys, in a mascot outfit, it's hotter than hell. <laughs> I had in high school, it showed because I, I probably had three percent body fat <laughs> at that time, dude. <laughs> oh my god! So yeah, we both been mascots, which makes us cool, right? Yeah, so cool. <laughs> Well, speaking of cool, <laughs> let's get into this Elvis wearing Austin Butler spraying mm. YSL myself. All right, so me first, huh? Hit it up. That's your philosophy in life, Ryan. <laughs> me first. Myself. So, <laughs> so a little story. I don't remember what this smells like. However, I have smelled this. And however, again, it was actually in a department store when you were trying to shop for Italy. Mm, okay. And you were trying to find an outfit, I think, over there, wasn't it? Probably. I can't remember. No, it wasn't then. It was a few months back. Whatever the fuck. But anyway, you were shopping for a shirt. You were wearing some dumb stuff. And I was like, yeah, that doesn't look good on you. (laughs) And I was like checking out the counter while you were doing stuff. What was that for? I'm not sure, but you were dressing up for something. Uh, It might have been like... uh, The 10-year reunion? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But uh, so, first off, before I even spray this, the bottle looks like and feels like utter dog shit hmm. i hate the design it's like the so bla- plasticky or what no i think it's a glass bottle but it's like 
it just looked terrible. Maybe it, it looks like it's a fingerprint magnet, number one. Okay, because it's dark black. And then the, the cap is super cheap and just plastic. Cra- it's just garbage. Like, it was uninspiring. And, of course, there's other things in the air, so I don't remember what it smells like. But I just remember just being like, ah, oh, this is shit. I remember bringing it over to him like, dude, you got, what do you think of this? And you're like, eh. So, Ooh, let's see. Okay, yeah, let's see if the opinion still stands. Here we go. Smells great. Hmm. But I felt like I've smelled this fragrance a thousand times. Yeah, I agree with you on that. Not a bad smell. You know what it reminds me of? What's up? <laughs> I feel like now every time I smell something like this, I just feel like I'm standing in Ulta. <laughs> I've literally smelled so many fragrances like this that I can close my eyes and feel like I I can see the rack of fragrances in Ulta (laughs) right now. Very safe, guys. I mean, I guess that's a plus or con, however you want to look at it. It has a very green apple sort of a smell. I do agree with that. And that's not even listed in the notes. Six notes we got. Sorry, five notes. Hit (laughs) them. Let me see if I can read this. (laughs) Calabrian bergamot. And bergamot. Mm, that Calabrian be hidden. Huh? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Tanusian orange blossom. Tanusi? <laughs> <laughs> Ambrofix. That, oh, that must be the new molecule that they've created. Right. And patchouli. That's a bunch of weird ass names. Uh, this is, yeah. I'm like, God, can we make this any easier to pronounce, guys, please? I'm not going to lie. It actually smells good, but it does feel so familiar. So, it's not, like, surprising me. Also, with a name like Myself, that makes you think it should be something unique and different and makes you stand out amongst the crowd. I feel like this sucks you right into the faceless numbers of zeros and ones that you are amongst your work plebeians. (laughs) Yeah. It doesn't smell bad. I I know I sound like an asshole. It doesn't smell bad. It's a pleasing fragrance. It's kind of like the YSL Y EDP type thing we were talking about where it had that like green apple sort of vibe that we really liked. Yeah. At least that's there. Again, even though it's not listed as notes, I get a lot of that. It doesn't feel loud. Feels very, it's not skin scent. It's a little bit further than that. Kind of powdery. Yeah, I get that. It almost smells like one of those chewy Jolly Ranchers, like the green apple chewy Jolly Rancher. Have you had those? Oh, hell yeah. That's my favorite flavor on the Jolly Rancher. The green apple? Really? But the chewy kind? Oh, I haven't had chewy, no. They're kind of like Starburst, but they're made by Jolly Rancher. Do they taste like the hard Jolly Rancher or a little bit different? A little bit different. little powdery (laughs) kind of like this fragrance. (laughs) It's like, I want to hate this, but at the same time, it's really enjoyable. Yeah, it smells good. This is the problem with all designer fragrances. There isn't enough to offend. Yeah. But, you think that's what makes a good fragrance? A little bit of something that can like divide well, the room? Yeah. That, well, that's what they say is like, if everybody likes you, then you have no personality. Mm, okay. You're a come a come a come a come a come a chameleon. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hate this, guys. It's a dilemma in kind of delivering this information. On one hand, it's actually a good fragrance. On the other hand, I feel like this DNA has suffocated my nostrils over the past <laughs> eight years. Like, I feel like I've smelled this a hundred times. And I actually, I, I agree with the, if you walked into Ulta and it's kind of like a, just a mix, mash, and mosh of all the fragrances every idiot's walking by spraying. I feel like that's what it kind of smells like. Yeah. It smells like a now and later on my skin. That's a good, hey. That is actually really close. That just like light bulb in my head. <laughs> yeah, it is. And let me tell you, I wasn't going to trust my nose on this episode, but I was just going to swing for the fences <laughs> and hope that it's halfway there. But yeah, that's kind of what I'm getting. And here's the question, because obviously this smells good. Yeah. Barring any sort of performance issues we may run into. We don't know yet. I love the card stock, by the way. Yeah. Smells great. The question is. Because we're such fragrance enthusiasts at this point, is that getting in the way of appreciating what 99% of human, uh, you know, population will just appreciate? Because we're part of the few minority that 
really gives two shits about crazy fragrance, you know, being original and having yeah. something unique because just and it shows from business model alone that these companies go, we'll make this so that 99% of people will like it and 99% of people will buy it. <sighs> are we the problem? Yeah, I think we are. I, I mean, I hate to say it, but I, I feel like we are. Yeah. I can't help that, though. I can't help that I just don't vibe shit like this. Sometimes when we do this podcast, I feel like one of those guys that's in like the comment section that's like, yeah, but if you read the book, uh, <laughs> you know, it was way better because, the, you know, pages 36 through 39, <laughs> the character development was actually far superior uh, you know, that's what I feel like sometimes. <laughs> I don't think I feel like that. I just feel like, I don't know, man. I don't fucking know, dude. I've always been one of those people. Like if everybody started wearing Supreme shirts, which that was a fad for a minute. Yeah. I'm going to be the one person that's like, I will never wear that because. Yeah. Everybody- You're wearing like a nacho <laughs> Supreme shirt. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like I'm going to spite it. Right. <laughs> this, I just, the thing that makes me mad at myself is that this is actually not a bad smell. It's one of the better designer fragrances we smell. I have to agree. The cardstock is amazing to me, but it, it, for me, it's not loud. That's my number one problem. Yeah. I want my fragrances to have a punch. That you do. For me, not so much of an issue. I want, you know, the work lady that's, you know, super sensitive to all the smells and probably mm-hmm. talks shit about me behind my back once I leave. Right. I want those fragrances that piss her off. <laughs> <laughs> I never want to be that guy where they're, where they're like, oh, we knew, we knew it was you. We could smell you coming down the hall. <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> I don't know why. You've been smooching with my sister. <laughs> uh, you know that doctors, nurses, they're not allowed to wear fragrances? I Yeah, I would assume so. Yeah, because they can cause people's asthma to kick up. For yeah, people bastards. actually have allergies towards certain, I guess, raw chemical or, yeah. you know, the stuff they put in this. And there are a few hypoallergenic fragrances made. And I think the Not A Perfume by Juliet Has A Gun is a, like a hypoallergenic sort of a fragrance. Interesting. Not 100% sure, though. Again, That's this probably is bullshit. uneducated opinions here, people. It's dying down, by the way, which is not a good sign. Do you get any Dolce and Gabbana pour home kind of vibe from this? Hmm. This is one I'm very familiar with. Hold on one second. I get the tiniest bit of what you're saying. I guess that's why it's kind of like ruining it for me. It's because I feel like I've smelled it. I'm going to argue that this is actually better on the skin than DNG Porum. Really? At least current formulations. Hmm. This is really nice. I I like it. Part of me wants to like walk by you after you've worn it or something. I got to smell it not on me. I know I say that a lot, but I really mean it. Strutting around, wearing it. I'm going to tell you the most I ever. <laughs> he's the Mick Jagger bird walking over here. <laughs> you know that most of the fragrances I ever get now is after I've experienced like smelling it like you walking by. That you makes know? sense. Yeah. I feel like that is the best way for me to really evaluate something now because if we go work out or something I'm like, damn, what are you wearing? You Did know? I tell the Creed Aventa story on here about the gas pump? Man, both our memories are so bad. I don't remember. Okay. Well. I think I've sold a couple bottles of Creed Aventus uh, here recently. Creed, reach out to us. Uh, what's that new one they got? <laughs> oh, the absolute. <laughs> yeah. No, I was putting gas in my truck and it was like me at a pump. And then, you know, there's a pump on the other side. Yeah. And then there's a distance and then there's another pump and then there's a pump on the other side of that. Gotcha. So, it was me on the furthest outside pump and then... Technically, three pumps over was another guy quite a distance. Yeah. And I'm, you know, finishing up and I'm, you know, shaking the last few drips off the end of the nozzle. Oh, and yeah. That sort yeah, of keep thing. going? Yeah. <laughs> and that's after you shoved that nozzle oh, deep yeah. in that tank. <clears throat> yep, for sure. Yeah, it was just <laughs> f- the huge load of gas. <laughs> and a guy comes up as I'm, you know, shaking the yeah a little few drips <laughs> and he's like man what cologne are you wearing 
I was like, oh, it's called Aventus. Okay. But then I immediately felt dumb. Why do we? I always feel dumb. Saying anything niche, that is kind of a problem, right? Yeah. It's awkward. It shows that you're a nerd at that point. Yeah, because he's not going to be able to find that. I mean, this guy's like 55 year old, yeah. you know, sort of. And the, yeah, when his baby typ- boomer ass sees that price. <laughs> <laughs> Typical East Texan. I mean, the guy's, you know, driving a. 2004 <laughs> single cab, you know, wearing Royal Copenhagen. <laughs> I don't want to be judgmental here, but I'm like, oh, this guy doesn't give a shit about me going into detail. So I was like, <laughs> I said, where do you get your colognes at? <laughs> and he's like, man, I, sometimes I just grab them at Walmart. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I figured. <laughs> I'm like, well, if you ever go down to Dillard's, just ask for something called Explorer. Mm. I was like, you'll find that's like he's like, yeah, hell yeah. Ford Explorer. Like he'll be able to remember Explorer. <laughs> I'm like, just go ask for Explorer. And I was like, you'll smell just like me. Damn. Actually, you saved that guy some money there. Yeah. yeah he's I could have been it. like, if you go to FragranceNet.com, <laughs> you know, <laughs> but I'm like, oh, yeah, sometimes you just get into those conversations. You don't really know how deep to go. Yeah. It just makes you look nerdy. Sorry, guys. It does. White and nerdy. <laughs> That's how I feel when I'm talking about like video games to Mike sometimes. Like he plays. Yeah. And then there's like I play only competitive stuff. So I'm just like talking about your just, just frame. When you and- say, yeah, I play, it's a lot different than <laughs> I play once a month Fortnite with my kids <laughs> and their eight year old friends destroy me. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan is like a world class video game expert. <laughs> Where he knows, oh, yeah, well, th- this move is going to take so many frames. And so, <laughs> if I can punish them, if they do this move, if I press at this time, I do this combo blocker. and I, <laughs> You're making me sound terrible, actually. <laughs> <laughs> what? Trust me, I'm not that dumb with it. No, you're great at it. I just don't know how to explain it, you know? Uh, yeah, if there's any uh, listeners out there you love Tekken, Soul Calibur, Street Fighter, let yeah. me know. I'll whoop your freaking pansy ass. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Isn't that great when you're able to be a nerd in so many different things? Right? <laughs> you know, my guilty pleasure is watching uh, nerdy videos of fighting game tournaments. <laughs> the comment sections are always great talking about how crazy the like uh, testosterone is. Because <laughs> they're like people are having like pop offs and shit. When they yeah, win, yeah. Like flipping each other off, cussing each other out. God, why is it that we get so competitive? <laughs> Just the dumbest shit. God, dude. I've been called so many bad things, dude, playing video games over the years prior to the internet. Dude. Yeah. You've s- sent me some videos, uh, <laughs> just like screen recordings of <laughs> some of the games you play. I'm just like, God, people get so upset. They do. It's man. a video game. I had a good, you know, me and Todd were roommates for a while. That's a little backstory here. Yeah. Hit him with it. And uh, he is left handed and he plays very unorthodox. We play Tekken for decades <laughs> and he hated losing to me and <laughs> i'm one of those people like i can't just be nice yeah and just like i'll oh, let them feel good and win i always let them feel like they're about to win <laughs> and then i take it from them they spank their little red hiney <laughs> yeah dude. it was like i don't know i probably whooped his ass like 30 matches in a row and he just eventually punched all the while he was so pissed <laughs> Fucking idiot. Uh, dude, I have never been that way with <laughs> with video games. Alcohol may have been involved that night. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, you guys are sipping some rosé playing a <laughs> yeah. Street Fighter. Uh, all right, let's do the price and trend real quick on this bad boy. Okay. The price... $150 for 100 ml. That is way too high. Way too much. They're asking Aquadigio money? <laughs> well, I mean, that is like standard designer pricing, but for this specific fragrance, I feel like there's nine other ones you could go find on a discounter. This is 85 tops. 85. And that's being generous. Hate the skin, by the way, right now. Really? Okay. Cardstock smells, smells great. Cardstock does smell great skin still now and later the trend mm-hmm. it was obviously it's splody rounds up 
Yeah. And it looks like the tank is about to drop out on this <laughs> thing. And I can see why, man. It just feels as good as it can smell. And it does smell good on the car stock. I'm not lying to you guys. Take that what, what you will with it. But it just feels so generic and safe. Yeah. And some people love that. Fine. I think it's also that it's who they associate the fragrance with that like drives the attention to it. It's smart on how they do it. I mean, Austin Butler just did what's his name's Elvis. You know his name. What the what's the director's name? Oh, Baz Luhrmann. Baz Luhrmann. Yeah. yeah. And that was a hypey film. Did you love that movie? I did. I did not. We flipped. I think you saw it the first time and liked it. I saw it the first time, didn't like it. The more I watched it, the more I really liked it. Yeah, the more I watched it, I'm just like, it just feels like a blur, and I hate that. I think that it might might be intentional, though. For sure, yeah. Like, because his life did kind of happen fast, and and you're out, you know? But still. Quickly. felt weird. I don't know. I didn't like that movie. But who's wearing this? I think I know. Okay. Cue the dream sequence music, Todd. He wakes up at 6 (sighs) a.m. And he does the same thing he does every morning, which is the three S's. Shit, shower, and shaves. He gets in his 2005 Dodge Stratus. He hits his commute, stays in traffic for about an hour, punches in at 7.59, barely making it into work. (laughs) Keeping his boss off his ass. And makes robocalls all day. See, I think you've got part of that right. <laughs> I think the part that you don't have right is the vehicle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think he's got a nicer, like, it's two years old, but it's the a nice Toyota Corolla or <laughs> yeah. Yeah, or Camry or something like that. Very, yeah. Yeah, very much so. <laughs> it's one of those where it's like, if it drove by fast enough, you'd think it was a Lexus. <laughs> but it's not. Yeah, definitely not. It's the base package. Every, with- everything about them is base. Maybe. Base hairline, base <laughs> clothes. You just, you're just a zero and a one in the matrix just a cog in the the machine of life and the high of your day is when samantha and billing says hey you smell kind of good god if that isn't like (laughs) just that little part not the whole thing but just that little part if that isn't a true highlighting of the fragrance community at times i don't know what it is (laughs) dude it's so where it's like i hate my life other than when i get complimented and as men, we rarely get compliments. Ever. Ever. And if we're going to get compliments, it's safe to compliment somebody's fragrance. Yeah. Oh, actually, so I was at the movies the other night. Okay. I went and saw Fincher's new film. Amazing. Mm-hmm. And I'm wearing Aventus again. <laughs> <laughs> and this is how awkward it is socially these days. So I went to Alamo Draft House, which is my favorite place to go see movies. And the, the this is where they like bring you food and stuff like that. So the lady's leaning over to ask me my order because they actually the previews had started by this point. Yeah. And she goes, what are you wearing? Because you smell amazing. I'm like, oh, thanks. It's called Creed. You know, that's like, <laughs> just say that. <laughs> she goes, oh, wow, that's really nice. I really love that. And she leaves. Then she comes back with my drink and she goes... So when she left, you were like, psh, 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 psh. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I pulled a rhyme. No, not at all. In, in fact, I had, hadn't sprayed it all day. That was like in the morning yeah. um, because Dallas is like a two hour drive away. So I sprayed it that morning. I had client meetings and then the so I probably sprayed it on at 9 a.m. My show time was like 730 p.m. OK, so she comes back brings me my drink and she compliments me on my fragrance again but this time she made sure to say i'm gonna have to tell my boyfriend Ugh. hold on she goes i'm gonna have to tell my boyfriend who also works here <laughs> how great that smells he needs to check it out did you go fuck you <laughs> <laughs> no but i was just like was that like a necessary interaction can't you just go wow i really enjoy the smell of that 
Or you could say, I enjoy the smell of that. I'd love to get that for my boyfriend or something. <laughs> but like, th- maybe it wasn't intentional, but it was just that like, I'll have to tell my boyfriend who also works here <laughs> that like, I was immediately going to be like, <clears throat> well, uh, if you think I smell, you know, like, <laughs> why on earth would you? I don't know. It's just weird, man. It's weird out there now. Dude, it is so wild. Thank God I don't give a fuck about anybody's opinion outside of pretty much you. Yeah. That whole thing being, though, is that like where you're just miserable until somebody just validates you with some empty compliment like, hey, your Austin Butler fragrance smells good. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Wait, did Austin Butler, was he the face of this fragrance? Yes. Yes. Oh, my God. That's what I was just saying. He that went ju- right over my head. Dude, I thought you were just, just talking did. about because he did Elvis. He was doing that. Didn't Elvis have a song like myself or some bullshit? Oh, God. I don't know. I don't fucking know. Or he'd sing that Frank Sinatra song. Who fucking knows? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my, my. <laughs> I don't think it's that song. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> But no, because I mean, my way. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Yeah. I do love that song, actually. That's a great song. But uh, no, he did. He had a bunch of small bit roles. Then he had that role in the Tarantino movie. Then he did Baz Luhrmann. It's like he was up, 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 up. And then he everybody memed him out because he wouldn't drop the Elvis voice in interviews. (laughs) So cringy, man. I don't know, man. Uh, I I just be on the movie set and. uh, (laughs) Is that what he sounds like, Louisiana? So, I don't know, dude. He's like, it has everything to do with us. <laughs> uh, just so you guys know, me and Mike were doing uh, James Ramsey impressions before we went live. David Ramsey. <laughs> David Ramsey. I keep calling yeah. him James Ramsey. <laughs> uh, Holy cow. <laughs> we've been looking at his financial advice. <laughs> Hey, man, in this economy, we we need any little help we can get. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Well, are you going to skip it? Sample it or buy it? What are you going to do, Mike? I'm totally going to skip this. Yeah, it's too generic, too safe. Bottle looks like dog piss. I don't know. I shouldn't say that. People worked on this. I'm sorry. It's just a black glass bottle. Nothing special about the bottle. Yeah, but it attracts fingerprints like a fucking magnet. Yeah. So it looks like it looks like you just got the greasiest fucking hands. <laughs> like you just grab it just looks dumb. Well, most people aren't going to take pictures and post them to the social medias and say, "Look what I'm wearing today, fellas. Scent of the day." <laughs> They're just going to spray it every day until the bottle empties and then go buy another one. All for Samantha. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> for that one little gleaming half-hearted compliment she gives as she slowly walks away and says, God, that guy wears too much fucking cologne. <laughs> yeah. And then she's like, what a loser. <laughs> and in his head, he's like, she digs me. She. <laughs> <laughs> they did this study, Ryan. This is my classic intro into yeah, something. Oh yeah. You know, they did a study. Yeah. They did a large group of speed dating, Mm -hmm. and then at the end of it, they surveyed each group, and it turns out men think women are way more attracted to them than they actually are, and women think men are way less attracted to them than they actually are. So, they they went through, and then they they had to gauge based on, you know, the interaction with the person of the opposite sex, how attracted they think that person was to themselves, to myself by why that's how why are humans just so fundamentally fucking dumb and weird we're like so smart geniuses yeah but we have seriously just we can't understand we got so much technology at our fingertips we don't know what to do with the person next to us man it's fucking wild i say it all the time but it's like we for whatever reason are always creating friction between other people. Like unintentionally creating friction. That's why I'm like, when you intentionally create friction against somebody, what the hell are you doing? Look, I don't know how old most you are, but I'm going to tell you, as you get older, you're going to see one thing that has never changed. History repeats itself. There will always be wars. It's just fucking dumb. People are dumb. Yeah. (laughs) 
I'm not going to get too serious. Let's don't get too serious. Let's get out of here. We still love you guys. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if you were worried that it changed in one week off, if you didn't guess, the we had to take a week off because I did, in fact, get COVID. I um, had a shoot in Arizona and it's juicy down here in texas you, you oh, yeah. get higher in elevation you lose the humidity in the air it gets real dry dude dried me out. <laughs> yeah ryan and i had some interesting conversations about that uh and then makes you if you're used to a nice juicy weather it makes you more susceptible to things and covid uh reached right down my freaking <laughs> throat and punched me in the sack. Well, I'm glad you're back and on the mend. Mm -hmm. But before we go, I want to tease our next fragrance philosophy. Oh, yeah. That's we asked up. our friends of the podcast, our Patreons, we asked them, what's something you want us to discuss? And there was quite a few interesting topics. Loved every single recommendation, honestly. There was, But there were two that we really liked, and that was- We liked them all, Ryan. Don't be rude. Okay. But there were two we felt like kind of linked up together that could make a single episode. And I think we're going to start with those. And that is wearability and does a fragrance have to change over time to be enjoyable? Great topics, and I can't wait to cover those. And until next, wait. Okay, <laughs> I should have let you do the spray like you did me, <laughs> you piece of shit. Also, we're going to be linking up with Steve to do another episode, and this one is going to be on a not really hyped. Maybe it is kind of hyped in the fragrance community, but their adverts for this are so cringy that for this fragrance that. I had been thinking about getting us a bottle to do it anyways, just because the ads on social media are your typical, I spray it and my girl wants me to bone her down. <laughs> and then in the background, literally, they have a woman going, honey, come back to bed. Ooh. Oh, like, it's so bad, dude. Let's, so, let's take wagers right now. The over under that it's going to be absolute shit. I bet it's going to smell something like what we smell. It'll today, smell honestly. worse than this. I guarantee. Yeah, it. it probably will because it's not like it's not any sort of actual fragrance company. Well, it's a an up and comer sort of a thing. So sure. Steve has gotten a bottle of it. We've gotten a bottle of it now, and we're going to blind smell it and let you know. Is it really the panty dropper that every <laughs> advert says it is? You know what we're going to do? If me and you ever make a fragrance, wink, uh, <laughs> if we ever make a fragrance, yeah, I think our advert should be everybody's always topless when they're talking about it. And they got like <laughs> smeared lipstick and everything. Yeah. It's like, it's a top dropper. <laughs> yeah. And all dudes, by the way, as well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. We love you guys. Enjoy this long-ass episode we made up for missing last week, so back the fuck off. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Didn't mean to nearly die on y'all. And until next time, spray it up, y'all.